All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take a look at the new free-to-play uh, Gohan card um, that is a mid-battle transformation character uh, into Great Saiyan Man. Now, he is actually the second um, of these type of characters that will transform immediately upon entering the battle, right? So we saw this with Ribrian, where Ribrian also does this, where on Ribrian's first turn in the fight, she goes ahead and transforms um, into, you know, her, I don't know, fat Ribrian version, right? Not Brian, but actual Ribrian, right? Well, this uh, Gohan slash Great Saiyan Man, it, it's going to be uh, the same thing. He's going to immediately transform. Now, I was a, a little bit disappointed because I really thought um, they missed the chance with uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, I've been saying for a while now that I wanted to see um, a, a base form Angel Goku that immediately went into Super Saiyan 3. Um, I, I feel like they they tried to do like the whole like opposing, yeah, see, here we go. Immediately as soon as the battle begins, test first rotation, we transform. But they really tried too hard. Wow. Okay, so turn one, we got the, the turn I wanted for this guy's like I, I, pretty much his highest attack stat. But uh, basically, uh, here, okay, okay. R real quick, real quick. Also, this uh, great Saiyan Man Super Saiyan 1 right here is pretty much this guy's best friend because he's uh you know a buffing unit to uh majin buu saga super class allies he's also got like hero of justice um and brainiac so he's got a lot of these big links um for great same and it's really going to help him out but um i really would have liked that base form goku um that would transform um into super saiyan 3 immediately as soon as the fight began but they wanted to make goku and vegeta sort of opposites right kind of like the lr super saiyan 4s which is cool, but they could have made them way different. Like, they could have done base form Angel Goku, because we already had a good version of Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, right? But there's no good base Goku. So 1.31 million turn one, I mean, that's that's not bad. Uh, th this is a, com a complete free-to-play unit, by the way. You farm him from the new um, <clears throat> Boo Saga story event, uh, <clears throat> which is going to be dropping alongside the Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku banner, right? Uh, so this guy does a lot of interesting things. One, he lowers attack, which is always good. Um, he does have 100% attack and defense at the start of turn, which is solid. But keep in mind, he is a free-to-play unit. So he's only sitting at 10,799 attack. Really bad. And then his defense <clears throat> is only 7,363. Also, not really that good. So um, you're not going to see greatness oh let's just go ahead and say from this great saiyan man well i don't want to be too hard on him because that attack that we saw right there was really good but you know keep in mind that's because we had him with great saiyan man, super saiyan one right who's giving him brainiacs hero of justice that's like 35 percent from links uh wait supreme power i feel like great saiyan man has supreme power as well he does that's another plus a thousand attack yeah pretty much all of the this batch of units, they, like, all have supreme power. That's almost like the, the Majin Buu arc link, right? So, like, he's just getting a ton of attack from uh, Great Saiyan 1, plus the 30% uh, buff he's giving from his passive, right? So you add all that together, and it's a huge monster buff for this guy. Uh, this is another going to be another really good turn. We're going to see a higher attack stat on this turn because now we have High School Gohan. High School Gohan, by the way, is coming up on his uh, Dokkan Awakening. I think he should go kind of waken with the next world tournament. So we're going to get a new local LR, and then we're also going to get high school Gohan um, to get his Dokkan kind of awakening. So that's going to be really cool. Um, okay, so I'm going to be very curious to see what Great Saiyan Man does right here. I mean, I guess if he lowers attack, you know, the other thing too is that if he's going up against an extreme class enemy, right, 1.42, okay, we'll take that. Against an extreme class enemy, this Great Saiyan Man gets five key, an additional 58% attack and defense. Then he gets a 10% chance of doing a crit, dodging, um, yeah, crit and dodging. And then he also, the last part about him is real goofy. It's just like LR Yamcha, where he is sealed. His super attack is sealed if you're going up against a Peppy Gals or a youth category enemy. Um, those two things will actually go ahead and seal you. So that's something that's a little bit interesting for sure, right? Um, I did also bring our boy uh, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. This is a new Dokkan Fest, but... I'm not really trying to put the spotlight on him, right? <laughs> I'm just kind of just... The, the focus here is Great Saiyan Man. Um, I am definitely looking forward to both the Goku and Vegeta. Like, if you build the team around Goku and Vegeta and make sure that they're getting their uh, full orbs and they're getting their super attack every single turn, 
they're going to be just wild. Like, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is going to be, like, above 4 million, like, every single time he's attacking. Like, it's, it's going to be insane. Like, he's super, super powerful. Then Majin Vegeta. I mean, if you get six orbs with Majin Vegeta, he's basically Gogeta and Janemba combined. It's, it's insane, right? So, both of them are actually super, super good. Um, okay, so... Next turn, we'll be able to go ahead and get LRB Pan's active skill uh, with our boy. Ooh, also, uh, unless we do a huge amount of damage here, like, unless Gohan and Goten <clears throat> get a number of crits, uh, I think we should transform into Super Saiyan 3 Goku on the next turn, because, remember, uh, Goku's transformation requirement is that the enemy has to have above 80% HP, um, as well as being, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, as well as being, like, past three turns, so it's one enemy, three turns, and above 80% HP. Uh, and then there we go. Boom. So, yeah. Uh, unless Gohan and Goten get, like, three super crits, which is possible. Um, we're not really going to have to worry about this. LR Gohan and Goten, by the way, who made their return on Global last night um, on the Christmas banner. The Christmas banner, which I think is very solid, uh, giving out the free multis and tickets and all that stuff at a very, very high value. Your chances of pulling Gohan and Goten aren't great. And your chances of pulling, like, the Super Saiyan 4s are not great either. But there's a high amount of value in that banner. Um, especially if you don't... Like, if you don't have any copies of any of those Dokkan Fest LRs or something like that. Like, you know, it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, okay, so... Now we have our boy. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I definitely kind of want to see, like, what sort of attack stats he's going to get right here. Without us really sort of, like, focusing on him, right? Because I'm not... I don't have a team built around him at all. Uh, there is a support type option on this team with High School Gohan. I really do like that High School Gohan unit, by the way. So we now have the Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man. Um, we have the High School Gohan. Like, there's, like, 50 insane uh, support type units for the Majin Buu arc for just super class. But we don't have one that's a beast for, like, all of uh, the Majin Buu arc, right? Including villains and heroes. That, that's, that's, that's something that's a little bit disappointing. So I'm kind of hoping that they give us, like, I don't know, maybe, like, LR Kid Buu could be, like, a 150% Majin Buu Art category leader or something like that. And then, like, kind of like how the LR Androids are, I'd like LR Kid Buu to be like that. And then I think I would probably then like, like, the Transforming Vegito to be almost like a super class uh, Majin Buu Art category leader. But the way it looks is... You know, it seems like building the team with a, a mix of heroes and villains, it, it's not realistic because they're just not giving us support type units that give key um, universally like that. There is the physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku. He's going to be interesting after he gets an EZA, which, I mean, maybe could come, you know, uh, well, actually, I guess technically by the time this video goes out, I mean, we'll have gotten the celebration info already. So it's possible that there's like an extreme Z area for maybe like the Super Saiyan 2 Gokus or just a traditional EZA for the Super Saiyan 2 Gokus or something like that. So um, that is, you know, another thing to sort of keep in mind. Um, this Grey Saiyan Man, Super Saiyan 1, is really good, by the way. Uh, definitely a big fan of him. I like the ceiling ability he's got. You know, he does really good damage, stacks attack. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, okay, let's relax. We're not turning this into your showcase here, fella. <laughs> or chill, 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 chill. 1.74. Okay. I'll take that. that. That's a really good number right there. By Great Saiyan. I mean, as a free-to-play unit, yeah. I, there's definitely no way I can complain about a free-to-play unit sort of putting up these types of numbers, right? That's that's really solid. And, you know, as another one of these units, you know, he kind of has, like, sort of this unique effect of transforming immediately as soon as the battle begins. Like, there's so many different, like characters and variations of characters that they could do with that sort of transformation ability right like again I, I felt i felt like a base form vegeta into majin vegeta would have been a really good option for that um i don't think it's really gonna hurt us too often where vegeta goes from super class into extreme class as he transforms into majin vegeta maybe if you're trying to build that buar team and you have like high school gohan on the team or something like that it's like yeah you know, by the time, you know, Vegeta transforms into Majin Vegeta, you know, and you're really going to be wanting to be getting that attack buff from, like, High School Gohan or, you know, the Great Saiyans or something like that, it's just not even going to happen anymore at that point because he's now an extreme class. So, it's interesting. I don't really think there's too many other characters that could have that happen to, right? Like, Vegeta into Majin Vegeta is sort of a unique case. So, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see how things are going to play out um, in the future. But, all right, guys, we'll go ahead and finish up here. 
Uh, I actually like that Great Saiyan Man unit. This Gohan that transforms right away into Great Saiyan Man. He's solid. Uh, Hybrid Saiyan, Buu Saga, Transformation, Buu, Goku, Family, and Sibling Bond. Um, definitely a, a strong addition, I think, uh, to some of these free-to-play teams, right? For a potential Prime Battle LR in the future. So that's going to be pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.